In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can measure lots of molecules in our body without having to use a needle. So you might have a smartwatch like me, which I use for running and checking my heart rate. But in this video, I'm not going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about something which is interstitial fluid. And this interstitial fluid is something that we already use in measurements. You might know someone who has the Abbott Freestyle Libre, where you can measure non-invasively for up to one or two weeks their blood sugar levels, and that is coupled to an insulin pump. So you have an automated system. But what is this interstitial fluid then? Well, interstitial fluid is all the fluids that's between our blood vessels and outside of our cells. Remember that our body is made out of more than 70% of water and interstitial fluid is a large component, more than 25% of all of that liquid. Essentially, if you would compare it, you would see interstitial fluid and plasma are quite similar. Because interstitial fluid is everything that leaks through the capillaries. So the only difference that you've got then is that some things which are very large, like for instance blood cells, they can't pass through the capillaries. So only the large compounds are not in your interstitial fluid. So interstitial fluid is very rich in biomarkers. So it means that besides glucose and many other things that you could potentially measure in there. Unfortunately, it's not so easy to access that fluid non-invasively. So non-invasively means without you having pain or without leaving marks to your skin. So there's a large untapped potential in there. And another thing which is a little bit complicated is that between, uh, for instance, if you have your blood glucose levels, there's a little lag, there's a bit of time difference between the levels uh, that you have in your blood and between the interstitial fluids. So any devices that work with interstitial fluids, they have to take this time lag into consideration. Now there's lots of clinical trials going around where people are trying to link concentration of certain compounds in interstitial fluids to that of blood. So I presume in the very near future we're going to see lots more measurements in this interstitial fluid to compounds that are not just limited to glucose but lots of other markers. So that could mean for instance more early diagnosis of certain diseases but you could have more closed loop systems as well like you have in glucose where you have the combination of measurements coupled to an automated drug delivery system. And ideally imagine all of this in, for instance, something as simple as a smartwatch, so you probably don't even notice that you're wearing it. So do have a look at this playlist if you want to know more about our later research, including, for instance, how we can pick up cardiac biomarkers in interstitial fluid, which would lead us to earlier diagnosed heart attacks. Thanks for watching.